Okay, welcome back guys. Today we are going to be looking at character hits, or you can think of them as collision events, that the kinematic character controller will register all of our hits and it will dump them into these dynamic buffers that we will look at how to loop through. Uh, so I'm just going to basically copy this system script from the GitHub here, and we are just going to put it directly into our project. Uh, this could be its own uh, file, but I'm just going to put it here at the bottom of our third person player systems. So basically, since we are dealing with physics, uh, we want to make sure that we are in the uh, update group that is the after physics system group uh, and also that is uh, it updates after the kinematic character physics update group this way we know that we have all of our hits that have happened during this frame uh, there's basically two jobs in this system uh, the first one is the non-stateful hits so this is the kinematic character hit, which is basically if the character collides with anything, it will get put into this dynamic buffer that we can then query here. Uh, after we get our hit buffer, we'll just loop through it. And then if our hit uh, is grounded or is not grounded on hit, this just means that we're not colliding with the ground. Otherwise, you'd be getting collisions every frame. Uh, we're just going to debug log out a little message that we've hit something. The second job here is uh, a stateful character hit. So this is like if you're familiar with the mono behavior collisions, uh, it is like on collision enter, on collision stay, and on collision exit. So when you first collide while you're colliding, and then when you exit contact. For here, we are just going to uh, print on the enter state and on the exit state uh, that we have entered and exited said hit. And uh, that is basically it. We'll take a look at it here. And there we go. So we have our enter and exit states. Uh, if we collide with this wall or whatever, we get new collisions. It'll just print out which entity uh, index that we actually hit. Um, all these cubes are different entities, so we get a bunch of different collisions there. So if you don't care about the enter and exit states, uh, we can go into our character aspect here, and in the physics update function, you can just comment out this process stateful character hits, and this will save us a wee bit of processing of things that we don't actually care about. So now, uh, our system is not going to find a stateful character hit, so it's not going to do any of this. And there we go. So now we are just getting uh, just, the, just the regular hit that we get. All right, so uh, next time, I believe, we are going to be looking at physics interactions here. Uh, yeah, dynamics and ignoring collisions based on tags. So yeah, we will uh, see you guys next time.